Okay, let's go to 49th question of J Main 2015 Code D paper. If M is the arithmetic mean of two distinct real numbers L and N, where L and N are greater than 1, and G1, G2, and G3 are three geometric means between L and N, then G1 to the power 4 plus 2G2 to the power 4 plus G3 to the power 4 equals 4 L M N square, 4 L square M square N square, 4 L square M N, 4 L M square N. So, let us try it. It is given M is the arithmetic mean of L and N means this one right now g1 g2 g3 are three geometric means so we can write like this these are in gp n is the fifth term so we can say n equals l r 4 where r is the common ratio giving as r equals n by l to the power 1 by 4 correct now we can put this r to get g1 g2 g3 so g1 comes as l into n by l to the power 1 by 4 similarly g2 comes l into n by l to the power 2 by 4 and g3 l into n by l to the power 3 by 4 right so the required result g14 plus twice g24 plus g34 equals we can see here this l4 will come out as common first thing from each segment n by l to the power 1 by 4 whole 4 will come out common from each part that is n by l comes common from each part correct what we are left with here we are left with the term inside like 1 plus twice of n by l plus n by l whole square correct this is equal to n l cube into n plus l whole square upon l square l square is cancelled out we are left with n l into n plus l whole square n plus l is given by 2 m so this is 4 m square from this part and n l so the correct answer is 4 m square n l we can see that 4 m square n l means option number 4 is the correct answer Correct. So, this way we can solve this question from sequence series. Let us move to the next one. Okay, Let us go for question number 50. The negation of negation S or negation R and S is equivalent to four options are given. Now, negation of this term can be written as negation of negation S that is S this or will be changed to s and negation when we write here it gives me r or negation s correct now this and can be distributed like s and r or s and negation s s and negation s will give you fallacy and when you take or of anything with this fallacy the result will come out as s and r only so this is equivalent to s and r that is option number two so the correct answer is second choice right let us go for question number 51 the integral dx upon x square multiplied with x4 plus 1 to the power 3 by 4 is equal to four options are given for it a simple one from integration part 
let us take x4 out of this bracket which becomes x cube it is 1 by x5 into 1 plus 1 by x4 to the power 3 by 4 dx right I have taken this x4 out of this bracket so becomes x4 to the power 3 by 4 means x cube why it is so so that we can put 1 plus 1 by x4 as t4 that is minus 4 upon x5 dx equals 4 t cube dt on substituting it we get integral as minus t cube dt divided by t cube or simply minus t plus c where t is 1 plus 1 by x4 to the power 1 by 4 take lcm and write the result as this one so from the given options we can clearly see option 2 is the correct one hence the answer is second choice right let us go for the next one ok let us go for the next one that is 52 the normal to the curve x square plus 2 x y minus 3 y square equals 0 at 1 comma 1 options are meets the curve again in the third quadrant meets the curve again in the fourth quadrant does not meet the curve again meets the curve again in the second quadrant so let us go for it on differentiating this curve that is x square plus 2 x y minus 3 y square equals 0 we get Two x plus two y plus two x dy by dx minus six y dy by dx equals zero. On substituting x and y as one comma one, we obtain dy by dx equals one. Correct. Now, the slope of the normal will be minus one in this case. So we can write the normal. At 1 comma 1 is y minus 1 equals minus 1 into x minus 1 or simply x plus y is equal to 2. This is the equation of normal at 1 comma 1. Fine. The question says the normal meets the curve again. So let us put y equals 2 minus x in the equation of curve. Solving normal and curve we get x equals 1 and 3 on substituting we get y equals 1 and when we put x as 3 we get y equals minus 1 right 1 1 is the given point 3 comma minus 1 is in the fourth quadrant so we observe that it is intersecting again in the fourth quadrant alternatively when we look at this equation it is representing pair of lines we can solve these two lines as alternatively x square plus 3 x y minus x y minus 3 y square equals 0 that is x minus y into x plus 3y equals 0 we find pair of lines if we draw these two lines like this because it is a line inclined at an angle of 45 degree and this one gives me slope as minus 1 by 3 so clearly when I draw a normal at 1 comma 1 it is intersecting again at some point which is in the fourth quadrant so clearly we can get the solution direct as the points are not required we can say it is intersecting again in the fourth quadrant so let us go for the next one ok let us try 53rd 
the tan inverse y equals tan inverse x plus tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square where mod x is less than 1 by root 3. Then a value of y is 4 options are given in terms of x. So simply using inverse trigo for tan inverse x plus tan inverse k we get tan inverse y equals tan inverse x plus 2x upon 1 minus x square divided by 1 minus x into 2x upon 1 minus x square right which gives me tan inverse y equals tan inverse on taking LCM it becomes x minus x cube plus 2x that is 3x minus x cube similarly in denominator it is 1 minus x square minus 2x square the factor 1 minus x square will be cancelled out so we are left in denominator 1 minus 3x square from where we can conclude y is 3x minus x cube divided by 1 minus 3x square as it is given that mod x is less than 1 by root 3. So this is clear. So from the given options we can see that option 3 is correct. Right. Let us move to the next one.